Well, new at six after years of police calls to the Hatmakers Bar and Grill in Fountain City, the city beer board has revoked its beer permit. A lawyer hired by the beer board took that action this morning at a pre hearing conference. 10 News reporter Vinay Simla joins us with why the city pushed the beer board to pull that license. Vinay. John, this is why the city of Knoxville says between July 2020 and June 2022, Knox County 911 received 76 calls from service at the Fountain City Bar hat makers. Two assaults, one fight, a hit and run, a missing person. But after two people were shot and killed at hat makers, the city asked for the beer board to pull its permit. It's about time. They had been a serious nuisance for several months. In Adair Gardens in Fountain City, across the parking lot from hat makers, neighbors are fed up with the bar, popular with motorcyclists. And we would hear loud motorcycles from 10 or 11 o'clock until like 2 o'clock in the morning. This neighbor didn't want to go on camera because he's worried about his safety, but he says the two people shot and killed at hat makers in April was the last straw. Mr. Hatmaker, do you have a lawyer that's joining us today? No, ma'am, I do not. Today, Hatmaker's owner, Jason Hatmaker, represented himself. Nobody was willing to take the case. The city filed a formal complaint with the beer board asking to revoke the bar's beer license. City rules give the owner 15 days to respond. Hatmaker got an extension and still didn't submit an answer. And due to the failure to file that answer, um, they're entitled to the relief that they've requested, which is for your beer permit uh, to be revoked. A Knoxville lawyer presiding over the case ruled the city should get its way because hat makers didn't respond. You've had an opportunity to act and you didn't. This neighbor is happy the city took action. And we all want the same thing, a safe place to live and a nice neighborhood to raise a family. The state revoked Hatmaker's Bar's liquor by the drink permit in May. The bar added security cameras and paid a fine, and now they have it back. So they're allowed to serve drinks over 8% alcohol. Anything below is regulated by the city. They'll have to stop serving those once that lawyer signs her ruling. And once it's signed, Hatmaker's won't be able to reapply for another license for 10 years. We reached out to the Hatmaker's owner. We haven't heard back yet. Robin? Vinay Simlot on the story for us. Vinay, thank you.